Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Tuesday to you all. Hopefully, you're enjoying your day, or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully, you're having a great day nonetheless. This is a very exciting time because Weekly are back with brand new music. We didn't have to wait two years for brand new music from Weekly like we did last time around, but besides the point, they are back with brand new music, and I am so tremendously excited for it. Weekly dropped my girl group album of the year last year, and um, well, I have very high hopes to what they have delivered this time around. And it's called Lights On, so let's get the lights on. Wow, that joke was so much funnier in my head. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. You know what? Get the intro going. I'm sorry I put you all through that terrible joke, but you know what? I, I was inspired to do so um, because I have a very creative mind that sometimes knows no bounds. But talking about the era properly, I haven't heard anything about this era, which is always a bonus for me because I never want to go into an era having been spoiled to anything. I've seen the concept pictures everywhere, and I approve of the concept pictures heavily. Um... As for what type of sound we're going to get, I don't know. I mean, off of first frame, it looks very bright, so I'm hoping we get some very bright weekly music, which I feel they do very well. And, well, this dropped with a mini album, so we're going to be doing the B-sides as well. It's exactly how we did with the Colorize album uh, last winter. Right? That was like November or something like that. And I'm really hoping that we get some banger B-sides off of that as well, because for me, that Colorize EP was a no-skip album. And I can and I couldn't pick a favorite. Right now, it's still probably backwards, but that like favorite B-side on the album changes so much with me on the Colorize EP. And I'm really hoping we get that quality of music again. But let's get the title track underway. Here we go. La, 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 la. It's snappy. Oh, we are just like going, going. Pick the vocal harmonies one time. I love the like offset placement on the vocal parts here. It's snappy, it's a bright. And it just keeps going brighter and higher. And it's extremely high energy, isn't it? Like, can't get the song to go too far ahead of ourselves. Good reset. This for me, like, Weekly have done bright music very well. Their first four eras, as I think, proved that. But this feels like a completely different vein of brightness, but I'm loving it just as much as I did during their debut times. And we got the post scores both times. Jiva is getting a lot more like really high vocal moments throughout this song than she has in the past. Because I feel like every single Jihan like main vocal moment has been. I've never 
release. We're just going uninterrupted straight through. Outro. It's very good. It's very, very good. Ah, ah, that's so nice. I don't know what it is about Weekly's bright music, but it just works for me. Ow! Oh! In fact, I'm so animated, I just karate chop my own table. Ow. Um, personal injury aside, oh, that really hurts, actually. Um, this song is terrific. It's so bright. It's so happy. And there's it's so high energy. And the fact that it's so high energy, and it kind of continues for the entire song. Sure, the song takes a step back in that second verse when you get rap line coming in. But the kind of overall sound combination of this song is fast and bright, and it goes, and that speed barely gets interrupted throughout. Oftentimes, we'll come across songs that, you know, if it is really fast, they'll tone it down for, like, the pre-chorus, slow it down to both accentuate that release at the chorus or to and or to keep the pace of the song under control so it doesn't feel like you're running away with it. Lights On doesn't do that. Lights On just goes. Like, you press play, and it's just constant. It feels like it's constantly accelerating forward. And yet, for me, that's, like, the charm of this song for me. Like, I want the song to almost just run away from me just because of how good that fast vibe is. Oh, oh, go back. I also very much approve of the instrumental choice. Lots of brass, lots of synth. And then this almost entirely rhythm and bass only beat to start. Like, we've got synthesizers here too, but... Essentially, this song builds from the bottom up in terms of the instrumental section. And to start off the song where the instrumentals are essentially the lowest in the entire song with the highest sounding vocal in the entire group is such a smart pairing. We, we love contrast. Humans love contrast. And when we get that, you know, you don't get a middle section in that first part of the song when you have Jihan starting the vocal part and you have that beaten rhythm going in the background. There's no middle to bridge that, so all you hear are the extremes. And when you want to get paired of low instruments with the highest vocals, Jihan is kind of like your go-to vocal in, in that case, because of just how naturally high her singing voice is. And from there, it's just, we're slowly adding on. It's like the vocal, the range is starting to come further down and down, especially when we get, you know, Joa and Monday on the lower vocal parts. We're starting to fill in the middle section of the instrumental a little bit more, and it's like we're meeting in the middle now. And now, apart from that kick drum, all the digital bass is gone, and it's we're like all in the middle now. But it really does go from top and bottom, slowly grows towards the middle, and then that extremity comes closing in on itself. It's really cool. If you, like, graphed it out, it looked very cool. But, of course, we don't really get a big break, if any. We're just gonna go, go, go. And the amount of vocal harmonies we are getting throughout this song. Like, I remember back when Weekly debuted and just like listening to their very, like, their, you know, their useful sounding, very bright, poppy music. And still being really impressed with 
with their vocal ability and how they put different pieces of the vocal line together. And that hasn't changed for Weekly. In fact, it's gotten better as we've gone. And for me, like with Last Era, with the Colorize album, we got some major vocal moments. But to take the main killer point vocally was the harmony in the chorus for the B-side backwards. It's just the butteriest, silkiest harmony that you got. And essentially, the chorus in Lights On is a repeat of that. It's almost like you've got that main vocal line, then you've got the vocal harmonies, and then you've got multiple synthesizers parts that's also adding onto that harmony element. And all the instrumentals aren't really being treated as the instrumental sections, but some of them are being treated like background vocals, and that makes that vocal harmony feel so much richer. And it's just so satisfying on the ears. Oh my goodness. They're so back. They so back. Oh, and they brought the energy with them as well. And, you know, now that we are properly into the month of July and we're getting more and more artists that are dropping summery, bright songs, we are now properly into my favorite time of the year when it comes to the K-pop scene. I love the summer release season because we're always bound to get just some unreal bright bangers, party bops, and sometimes really aggressive, hard-hitting, heavy, crunchy stuff as well. But everything is going to have the intensity and the energy up to 11. And I love that. It's like this is the time of year where everyone can unashamedly kind of just let loose. And I feel like with Weekly's Lights On, you really do feel that. It's unashamedly high energy and bright and... As someone who's been around with them for long enough to have seen them go through the the school phase of their first four releases, or first three and a half releases, if you want to call it that, this feels like it's taking traits of that nostalgia, but also spinning it in that updated weekly way, and I could not be more than happier with this. And of course, I have to mention this phrase, if the title track is this good, how good are the B-sides going to be? Only one way to find out. Keep your eyes peeled for that if it is not already. But that is going to be it for me today with the MV for Weekly's of the latest drop. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let's work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be checking with your friends or family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness to make right of someone else's day-to-day. -day and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.